Well, friends, it is officially 2023, and so we're uh, we're actually going to be starting our 2023 camping season next week. So this will be a bit of a different video. Uh, I've always struggled to film these talking head sort of things um, because the lighting in our house is terrible and if we're anywhere close to the road there's a lot of noise. So today we're going to just go for a walk in the woods here on our own property and we are going to tell you about our 2023 camping season and some of the things that we're excited about going forward with the season. And the most exciting thing I found the dandelion. Yeah we have dandelions in the yard but uh, so the season is off to a very rocky start just like this walk that we're going on uh, actually friends this is the second time we're filming this video because the season should have started already about a month ago we had a trip planned and booked and uh, we were excited to go camping it was probably going to be one of the one of the better adventures that we've ever done yeah. and uh, Sarah got sick, Rachel got sick, William got sick, and then I got sick, and that was that. And actually, that was like a month ago, and today's, well, I still don't feel good, to be honest with you. I don't know, are you better? I'm fine. The stomach flu, it did hang on for a while, and then it like changed into something else, so. Yeah, it's like a revolving door it with the kids really in bad. school. It's, it's just bad, uh, so. But right now it is a beautiful spring day. This is... No, I was wrong. April 8th. So today's April 8th and uh, it's a beautiful spring day. Easter is tomorrow, so we want to wish everybody a happy Easter. Uh, you'll be seeing this video a few days after. So the second attempt at our first camp camping trip of the year is about a week from now. And uh, we're going to try a different location, a different strategy, uh, because I believe that uh, that's actually the second time we didn't get to do the one we were planning for a month ago so I think there's a curse or something but so yes that's why we've been kind of absent lately and the channel has not really we haven't been producing videos is because with the family and all the stuff that goes into that and people being sick the time and the energy that it takes to edit and put together and film videos uh, it was just kind of non-existent so this uh, this is a dead tree well I guess it's dead now but it was alive that fell uh, yeah. several weeks ago back here we got to process it for firewood but um, it's a lot of tree so um, so that's that uh, so friends uh, if you have not started booking your 2023 season yet and booking your trips you probably ought to start because it has been difficult to get into sites um, quite a few places we wanted to go and we couldn't get in um, but luckily for Rachel the most exciting trip of the year we did get in so do you want to tell them where we're going we are going to the beach to Huntington Beach State Park in South Carolina and we actually we got in but we booked that one too late too because we have to move halfway through our stay there they did not have a site available for the five or six nights that were there so we're moving about halfway through but we are still going to the beach. <laughs> yes, uh, it'll actually be the first time we're gonna just like move from one site in a campground to another. Uh, so that'll be interesting to say the least. Yeah, I feel like if we have, that would be a good time if we have to, we can dump. Cause they're not full hookup sites. Um, so, and we're at the beach, so we're gonna wanna shower a lot. So it might not be a bad thing. Yeah, the, the sand and stuff, uh, you definitely wanna be showering probably daily while you're at the beach from the salt water and stuff so especially with the kids they're messy uh, so that that is the trip that Rachel's most excited for and of course there's another leg to that trip which is the part that I'm most excited for mm -hmm. on the way home we're gonna be stopping and spending three days at Grayson Highlands State Park in Virginia so we're gonna get to see the highest mountain in Virginia I, I think it is Grayson Highlands is the Virginia High Point, isn't it? I think so, Mount Rogers. Yes, that's what it is. Um, not much to see from the top from what I understand, but we're going to check it out anyway. 
and uh, a lot of wild horses and things of that nature in that state park. So, uh, and we've had good experience with Virginia state parks in the past. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we're excited about that. The remainder of the season though, uh, we're gonna try to focus mostly on Pennsylvania state parks um, because there's quite a few of them that are on our list to do that we haven't got a chance to do yet. But, but at the same time, like I said, every place we tried to get in, uh, we couldn't. So we're focusing on kind of a lot of state parks that we've never heard of before, simply because I don't think you've heard of them either. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get in. Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get in. And this is crazy. We um, started booking things in January when my work schedule came out. And uh, <laughs> William's running away. Well, William, over here, buddy. And there he goes. He's still going. But, uh, but yeah, even then was too late. Um, of course, we could watch cancellations and try to get in places that way, <laughs> but um, I don't know. It always makes me uncomfortable waiting until the last minute. And so I feel like exploring some of these uh, never heard of Pennsylvania State Parks uh, could be a could be an enlightening thing for us and for you because there might be some hidden gems out there. Uh, we've also invested in some purple lizard maps to aid in our exploration, so we're excited in in uh, yeah. the ability to go and see some things that are just different. All right, so so friends, the next couple trips we're going to be doing uh, are, are no hookup boondocking style adventures. Oh. And so the next couple episodes are going to focus on prepping the rig for the season. Um, as we told you, we are looking at a new rig, but we're still using this one for probably a while. And so we're prepping the rig for the season, and we're prepping ourselves for mo more boondocking. Uh, now, some of the stuff that you're going to see in the next couple episodes was filmed over a month ago for the trip that never happened. So some things may not make sense from a timeline standpoint, um, but uh, we'll get through it together, and I'll try to, you know, interject and make sense of it where needed but uh but we did buy a generator and so that's coming up as well and so you'll get to see what we chose and why we chose it and uh you know the break-in procedure and things of that nature for the for the generator um what else next week's episode is going to be about our budget from our big trip last year which was to north carolina and tennessee that was our 10 day trip i think yep 10 day adventure 10 day adventure so. um so we're kind of trying to figure out because our beach trip this year we want to see how much we're going to spend and we want to try to help you guys so you know if you're planning a big trip for this year which if you are you should be booking it soon but um we want to help you plan it out and uh, a lot of people are concerned with costs especially given the current economic climate inflation and and such things so um fuel prices and all, and all that jazz so we're going to go over it all um in next week's episode uh, but that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you next week. Be sure to subscribe and hit that, hit that like button so the videos can spread to more people.